Over the past 10 years, I've slowly upgraded my setup into my dream setup for gaming and content creation. And although this is just a setup where I play games and make silly videos, the journey of upgrading this setup over the course of my life has defined my life in many ways. When I started building my setup, I had no idea it would completely change the trajectory of my entire life. This is my setup progression. The year was 2012. I had just gotten home from school and my parents sat me down and told me they had some big news for me. And they told me we were moving to the United States of America. Obviously, I didn't want to go. But considering I was a 10 year old child who didn't have much of a say, I had to say goodbye to all my friends and family. I packed all my bags and I started my new life in the USA. I'm not gonna lie, the first couple months were really hard for me. So to cheer me up, my parents bought me a gift. And this gift would be the very start to my setup journey, an iMac. At first, I just used my Mac to watch soccer compilations on YouTube or play block stores on coolmathgames.com until one day I was at school and I overheard some kids talking about a little game called Minecraft. Like most, I instantly became addicted. I started playing hours and hours of Minecraft every day. And along with that, I started watching a lot of Minecraft YouTubers. I didn't really have any friends to hang out with in real life, but watching my favorite YouTubers felt like hanging out with a friend. And I think part of me just really fell in love with that feeling. So much so that I quickly got inspired to make my own YouTube channel. Hello guys, it's like I'm going to one today. I'm going to be showing you how to make an impossible to get out a uh, trap. I uploaded hundreds of Minecraft videos, but after a year, I started to get bored of making Minecraft videos, so I started to experiment with my content. And around this time, Christmas came around and my parents got me the brand new PS4. And I was also able to borrow my dad's LG 24 inch TV, which those two things allowed me to start making FIFA and Call of Duty videos. 2016 came around and I had been making videos for about four years now. Throughout those four years, through multiple Christmases and birthdays, I was able to collect a good amount of stuff. To help improve my videos, I was able to get a Blue Yeti and an Elgato game capture. I also got some bead headphones, a Razer Black Widow Chroma, a Razer Mamba, and a DX Racer chair. My setup had evolved so much that I thought it'd be cool if I made a setup tour. So on January 11, 2016, I uploaded epic 13-year-old gaming setup. And little did I know, this one video would change my entire life. What is going on guys, it's Vonix here with another video. In this video, I have a setup tour. It's not live commentary, I'm just commentating over my setup. This is going to be a gaming setup. So yeah, guys, I'm just going to take you guys on a quick tour around my room. Just showing you guys how I record my videos and all that stuff. To paint the picture, my channel around this time had about 500 subscribers and I would get about 20 to 30 views. But Epic 13 year old gaming setup got more than 20 or 30 views. It got hundreds of thousands of views. It is still, to this day, my most viewed video with about 1.3 million views. And this obviously was unlike anything my channel had ever experienced. I was a 13 year old boy who suddenly was starting to get way more attention than he deserved. But I started to gain a decent following and was even making some money because of my channel. But one day, my parents sat me down again and they told me that once again, we were moving. This time from Texas to Oregon. And by this time, I had a decent amount of friends, so I didn't want to go. But obviously, I didn't have much of a say, so I had to say bye to all my friends, pack all my bags, and start my new life in a small town in Oregon. When I first moved to Oregon, I saw an opportunity. I had a completely empty room, I had some money saved up for my YouTube channel, and my most viewed video was a setup tour, so... I came up with an idea, an idea for a series, a series I called Road to My Dream Gaming Setup. The series was simple. I would show my current setup, vlog the process of upgrading it, and then show what my setup looked like after. So with my money from YouTube, I decided that for episode one, I would first upgrade my desk. So I went to Ikea and bought the Limnom table. I'd also recently bought some Astro A50s to replace my Beats, some cheap LED light strip I found on Amazon, and an extended mouse pad from Glorious. And on September 27, 2016, I uploaded Road to My Dream Gaming Setup Episode 1.
So guys, I finally got my desk. Oh my god, that took for ages. That took just ages, but you know what it does? It moves! This video performed really well. People loved the idea of this series and wanted to see the setup progress more. Fast forward a couple months, I had saved some money from YouTube and I decided that it was time to upgrade my Mac. So I bought a gaming PC with an i7 CPU and a 1070 graphics card. And I uploaded episode 2 on November 4th, 2016 where I showed off my new PC. Power is a high current gamer M and Tech 751. Motherboard X99A, USB 3.1, Acer, 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 Acer. Asus Intel solid state drive 750 series nice little blue fan an i7 core a GeForce 1070 and we got a Corsair Hydro series H100 IV2 in this video I also showed a recent upgrade I had made the Logitech C930e I bought this webcam because I wanted to stream so a couple weeks after I released episode 2, I did my first ever live stream here on YouTube. And even though I sucked at streaming, the live stream surprisingly did pretty well. In my first stream, I averaged 81 viewers and I had a ton of fun. So I kept going and the more I streamed, the more people watched. And the more people watched, the more people would donate. For some reason, people were giving me money, sometimes way too much money, which 13 year old me did not understand why people were throwing hundreds of dollars at me. But eventually I realized that I could take the money from my donations combined with the money from my AdSense and I could make even more Road to My Dream Gaming setup episodes. So that's what I did. What is going on guys, it's Vonix here and in today's video I am so freaking excited. It is part numero tres of the road to my dream gaming setup. And now we have one box and two boxes. Whoa, we got two boxes over here. We have another Philip Hue thing. Oh my God, that, that wasn't on purpose. And then another Philip Hue little bulb. Personal wireless lighting. So we have four little boxes. What are we gonna do with these four boxes? What are we gonna do? Okay, got it all set up. Now I can, change the colors so i'm gonna set up the second one right over there but uh arctic aurora got tropical twilight so i have two of them over there you can't see it well at all on the camera but it's a blue one on the right and a pink one on the left it looks really awesome in person in episode three i bought three gaming monitors the audio technica at 2035 microphone with the scarlet 2i2 a psa1 boom arm for the mic ps4 skins a mini fridge the audio technica's m50x headphones and a bluetooth speaker from anchor so we're out here we're about to do a little tour of the room i have my super wide angle lens uh by the way so this is pretty cool all right let's just do a quick tour of the new room the new setup very very excited triple monitor so i'm just gonna go over the whole room really really quickly got a bunch of trash i should actually put these headphones on this little mount yeah i have the main fridge over here with all the sodas all the coffees all the fancies all the sprites uh, a bunch of stuff you can actually turn the led on and off which is pretty cool over here we have a ton of extra acoustic foam some towels, just a bunch of crap that you guys don't care about. Triple monitor, pretty cool. Got the stand over there. Uh, you can probably see all the, actually the cables uh, look pretty nice except right here. But alone, it doesn't look too bad. It was this beautiful cycle where I was essentially getting paid to just upgrade my setup. Because the more episodes I made, the bigger my channel got and the bigger my streams got, which meant I got more and more donations, which meant I had more and more money for more episodes and the cycle just kept going. I didn't understand why my set of videos performed so well and to be honest, I still don't. And on March 28th, 2017, I uploaded an epic 14 year old gaming setup, showing off my entire room and all the upgrades I had made. How's it going guys, it's Vonix and we finally have the epic 14 year old setup. But let's finally get into the setup. Uh, boom, this is my setup. I absolutely love my setup to be honest. Uh, it does what I need it to do and it's also, it, I like I like to think that it looks good. Starting off with the chair, this is a DX Racer. I'm not quite sure which one it is. But yeah, right above my setup, you will see a crap ton of acoustic foam. But yeah, going below the setup, you will see the two headphones that I do own. This is the Audio Technica's M50X and Astro's A50s. So yeah, this is also the audio interface I do use. It's the Scarlett 2i2, uh, great interface. It's also hooked up to the microphone right over here. This is the Audio Technica AT 
2035. For my keyboard and mouse, I use the Razer Mamba uh, Tournament Edition, and I do have this Razer Black Widow Chroma. But yeah, these are Dell monitors. I'm not exactly quite sure which monitors they are on the top of my head, but of course it will be um, in the link down below. This video would also perform very, very well on my channel, getting hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views. But my channel at this point would start to decline, mainly because my parents sat me down again and, you guessed it, I was moving again. This time, we were going back to Texas. So I said bye to all my friends, again, packed all my bags, again, and started my new life, again. And over the next year and a half after I moved, I really struggled with my channel. I didn't really know what to upload and I didn't really know what to upgrade in my setup either. But although I hadn't made any big changes, on April 1st, 2018, I uploaded epic 15 year old gaming setup. How's it going guys? It's Vonix and finally we have the long awaited 15 year old setup video. Over here we have my mini fridge. I used to have a ton of sodas. I've stopped drinking sodas in the past like a year. Also, this is a little hue thing. Uh, I'll leave the link down below to all the things, but basically I control through my phone all the lights, including that one over there, that other bloom right there, the LED strip, and those two um, bulbs inside of there. So moving on to this side, it's where I have a little shelf where I keep all my knickknacks, if that's the right word. Moving on to my keyboard, this was one of the first things I got for my setup. I got the keyboard way before I actually got my PC. Um, it's a Razer Black Widow Chroma. I love it. It causes no problems. Um, yeah, it's really, I mean, I like the clicking noise. So yeah, this Razer product works absolutely great. But on the other hand, my old Razer mouse was absolute garbage. It didn't work. I absolutely hated that mouse. So I upgraded to this um, Logitech MX Master um, MX Master 2S, I believe. So near the end of 2018, when my channel was starting to go downhill again, it was time for another gaming setup video. And I uploaded Road to My Dream Gaming Setup Episode 8 where I upgraded my keyboard to a Ducky 1-2 Mini. So yeah, I guess I'm just gonna open this. I don't really know what else to do for the video. Um, I wanted to really make this episode a special one since it's something that I am so freaking excited for. Oh my god, this is actually beautiful. <laughs> So yeah guys, I'm in love. I, I I love this keyboard. The Ducky 1-2 Mini has surpassed my expectations. This video got my channel back on its feet. And a couple months later, I would upload episode 9 where I upgraded my mouse to a Final Mouse Air 58. Okay, dude, it's here. It's the Ninja Air 58 Final Mouse. I have never had a Final Mouse. Ever, ever, ever. I will talk about why I got it later on. And then you turn it around, and here it is. It is pricey though. I had to buy it for around $115 off eBay because I didn't buy it when it first came out. But it's amazing. I highly recommend it. I love the color. I love how light it is. It's literally a feather. I was playing with it. I, I am in love. So I rode the wave of those two videos for a bit, but on May 1st of 2019, I uploaded Epic 16-year-old gaming setup. And we got a whiteboard that is currently filled up with all my hopes and dreams. Moving on to the chill area, we got a beanbag, which is where I chill with all my hoes. I have a Samsung TV, which actually used to be my parents' TV, but they ended up getting a new one. So then my sister got this one, but she went off to college, so I just kind of stole it. But the most recent addition to my entire room are the lights right above the TV. These lights are called Nano Leave Lights, and the camera does not give them justice. They look beautiful. You can set custom color scenes and patterns. You can even make them react to music. Moving on to the sleep area, I have a nightstand and a bed from Ikea. On my nightstand, I have the Hue Go, which I mentioned earlier, which can actually be used wireless for a while, which is pretty cool. Stream Deck allows me to do many things like easily switch between seams during my live streams, play animations, power off my Nano Leaf lights and my Hue lights, mute my microphone, voice changer, timer, and much more. From the years 2019 to 2021, I would slowly upgrade my setup, making a couple episodes of the series here and there, a couple room tours. I upgraded my mouse once again. But yeah, today we're gonna be unboxing and testing out the new Final Mouse, Final Mouse Mouse, the Ultralight 2, the Cape Town. It looks, it feels a lot smaller, I don't know. Yeah, whoa, 
this thing is a lot smaller. It does look kind of weird, but I honestly kind of like it. And it makes the mouse not feel as small. Without the skins, it honestly feels terrible. With the skins, it feels actually really good. I upgraded my monitor. The Alienware AW2518 and met all the guidelines and it's finally here. I got some new lighting and some new keycaps. Moving on to my keyboard, um, I actually just got these keycaps like two days ago and I have uh, fallen in love with them. My, my old keycaps were great, but one thing about my old keycaps that I didn't like was that you they're not like transparent so the leds don't like go through the keys but then i realized i can um switch over the the cord because the original cord for the for the ultralight 2 is kind of ugly it's like orange and the, the scroll wheel was like this brownish orange and I, I just didn't like how it fit my setup over here i got my elgato key lights which i actually just got about a week ago they're amazing super sleek and they have a ton a ton of power this is this is actually the lights at about 8%. I upgraded my microphone. The Shure SM7B is the iconic vocal microphone. Created back in 1973, the microphone is still a top level mic. It was used by music legend Michael Jackson to record the vocals on Thriller and is now being used by podcast legend Joe Rogan to record his show. Known for its proximity effect, which creates a warm, cozy voice if you speak into it from close up, a sound that I've been looking for for years, but have never been able to achieve until now. I upgraded my headphones. Judging initially just off looks, it looks really cool. I've obviously seen pictures, so I was, you know, I already knew how it was going to look, but I, I do like the aesthetic a lot. It's a very sleek, minimal aesthetic. I can finally put these bad boys on and see how they feel. I'm not expecting anything crazy. You know, I don't think this is a very revolutionary moment in history, but they feel good. I mounted my three monitors onto my wall. a go xlr mini one thing i do have a lot to say about is this go xlr mini i could talk about this thing for an entire video but essentially it does two things one it connects to my microphone allowing me to adjust noise compression equalization and add a noise gate two it splits your pc's inputs and outputs into multiple inputs and outputs i added some more decorations so i actually moved into this room quite recently and i wanted to hang up some acoustic foam but i wanted to do something a little different so i decided to make these two diagonal lines which i'm actually really happy with the foam also helps with the echo a little bit which is nice next to my acoustic foam i have my nano leaf panels which don't really do much besides adding flair to the room but i love them and they also create a cool background for when i stream and record videos at my desk and over to the left of my acoustic foam i have this poster which is actually a metal plate also something in which i just installed are these wooden shelves so i can hang up some decorations i upgraded my mouse pad and the mouse pad was bought from the mouse pad company i believe it's called liquid strata i've got no complaints it looks looks nice and the texture itself is also very high quality. And I even got sent a completely free ergonomic chair from Autonomous. Oh my god. Oh, that's so different. My setup was everything I wished for. But then it was time for college and I decided it would be best for me if I quit YouTube and focus purely on school. 
Even though my channel was successful and I was making some decent money to upgrade my setup, I was nowhere near making YouTube my full-time career. So going to college and focusing on that seemed like the most rational thing to do. So I quit, and after quitting, my channel would completely plummet into irrelevancy, and my setup wouldn't change at all. Until two years later, in the summer of 2023, I decided I wanted to give this YouTube thing another go. In this period, I would make a couple more upgrades. I brought back the series and in episode 16, I bought some furniture and some decorations. And that's all the changes. It's insane how much the difference the minor things can make. The furniture pieces look great. I love their minimalist style and it's the perfect way for me to add some much needed personality to the room. And also, who doesn't like some plants. On the wall, everything looks really clean. I'm really, really, really impressed by the Gobi lights. It's honestly probably my favorite addition of this entire video. I was a little skeptical, but they look sick. The nano leaves look great. I'm a little mad at them just because it was such a pain setting them up for some reason, but they look good. I am absolutely in love with the posters too. And a couple weeks later, I would even build my first ever fully custom gaming keyboard. But finally, we're done. And this is my first ever custom keyboard. For comparison, let's hear what the Ducky one to mini sounds like first. Now for the moment of truth, let's try my $300 custom keyboard. Oh my god, this is actually crazy. And that's where my gaming setup is today. This setup, this journey, it truly did redefine my life in ways that 10 year old me could have never imagined. So seriously, thank you guys for supporting, whether you started watching 10 years ago or this is the first time watching any of my videos. I'm at this weird point in my life where I just started my last year of college. My channel is doing okay, but not really good enough. So I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what to do. The future of this channel is really up in the air. I said I would quit if I didn't reach 100k and obviously I didn't reach 100k, but I've been enjoying making videos so much that I really don't know what to do. But I wanted to make this video as a little trip down memory lane to thank you guys for supporting me on my journey and hopefully inspire some of you guys on your setup journey. Peace.